Darksaber is by far the most powerful and influential lightsaber that we know of in Star Wars. Not only is the history and meaning behind the lightsaber itself powerful, but also the weapon itself. The properties and abilities that the Darksaber wields, making it unlike any other weapon we've seen before. And with its new resurgence in Star Wars, I'm here to break down exactly what makes the Darksaber so powerful, and why potentially it's the most powerful lightsaber in all of Star Wars, discussing the key differences that the blade has with any other lightsaber in Star Wars canon. Before we begin though, according to my analytics, a lot of you guys that watch the channel haven't actually subscribed yet, so if you've been enjoying the content and want to see more and keep up to date with everything Star Wars related, be sure to force choke or force push that subscribe button. Also, if we could get this video to 3000 likes, that would be awesome. Now, let's go ahead and get into it, and the history and importance of the Darksaber. Obviously, as discussed before, the Darksaber was the weapon constructed by the first, and to our knowledge only, Mandalorian inducted into the Jedi Order. A huge moment for Star Wars, as the Mandalorians and the Jedi had been enemies for centuries prior, with the Mandalorians touted as some of the few beings in the galaxy capable of killing a fully formed Jedi Knight. It is for this reason that the Darksaber holds such significance to the Mandalorian culture, with the Mandalorians being the one that would eventually reclaim the Darksaber during a sacking of the Jedi Temple. The Darksaber has several key aesthetic differences from a normal lightsaber. The Darksaber was an ancient black bladed lightsaber. It had a unique blade that was shorter than most of all the other lightsabers, and shaped more like a traditional sword. Its overall profile was distinctly Mandalorian, with an angular pommel, handguard, and slit-shaped blade emitter. The sound emitted by its blade was also higher pitched than other lightsabers. The Darksaber had a crystal which served as its conduit for force energy. This crystal though itself was far different than many others. The wielder's thoughts and actions guided the blade's current of power with the blade often producing an electrical effect in response to a heightened emotional state, something that is unique to the Darksaber and is not found in other lightsabers. The crystal's literal connection with its wielder, whether or not they are force sensitive. However, the crystal is shown to be more potent and more connected with those that wield the force. The Darksaber was also capable of parrying a blow from a lightsaber, with the blades being drawn to each other almost magnetically. This leads me to theorize that when Tar Vizsla constructed the Darksaber, he knew that one day it would engage other lightsabers in combat, showing a clear allegiance to his Mandalorian culture. Because of its design, the Darksaber is also easier to wield with those not gifted in the Force. As in the past, we know those that are not Force-sensitive have a much more difficult time using and controlling a lightsaber. With the Darksaber, this not being the case, as many non-Force-sensitives have been very proficient with the blade. With that said, the Darksaber truly reaches its full potential when in the hands of a Force wielder. With the blade thus far, are most effective in the hands of Maul, who claimed the Darksaber from pre visla during the Clone Wars. It's clear that the Darksaber has many properties that a normal lightsaber does not. The Darksaber also literally draws light into it, making whatever room it's in darker. It's clear that the Darksaber was constructed by some ancient technique that other lightsabers normally are not. It is also the only black lightsaber that we currently know of in Star Wars canon. Typically, when someone imbues their essence into a kyber crystal, it adopts a color. Most common either blue or green, but it can also adopt the color of purple naturally. Other colors are produced in different ways, not imbued upon originally. Colors such as white or yellow. A red or a crimson lightsaber occurs when an already imbued upon kyber crystal is made to bleed, and turned dark side in origin. As Palpatine described it, a kyber crystal is a living thing, and therefore it can in fact bleed, turning the blade crimson. The darksaber also reacted quite differently to the metal known as Beskar, one of the few metals in the galaxy capable of withstanding blows from a lightsaber. In The Mandalorian, it turned the Beskar glowing red, something that did not occur when Ahsoka Tano grazed Din Djarin's armor with her white blades. This leads into the idea that the Darksaber may actually burn brighter and hotter than a normal lightsaber blade. Anyway my friends, that is my video on the details that make the Darksaber far more unique than a normal lightsaber in Star Wars, and the various properties that it possesses that normal lightsabers typically do not. But what are your thoughts on the Darksaber, and its construction by the first 
first ever Mandalorian Jedi, Tar Vizsla. How do you think Tar Vizsla was actually able to construct a black kyber crystal, and a crystal so connected with the user's emotions and feeling? Do you think that we will ever learn the true origins of the Darksaber, and how it was constructed by Vizsla? Again guys, according to my analytics, a lot of you that watch the channel haven't subscribed yet, so if you want to see more Star Wars videos, be sure to force choke that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out the Star Wars merch, link in the description down below, as the holiday season discount still applies, so if you see anything you like, be sure to pick it up. As always my friends, you guys simply watching the video means the world to me. May the force be with you, and have a great day.